hi guys um this is gonna be my last video for this particular semester but if you're not i will make videos back home in atlanta i don't know of what yet but i will so i figured i'd close out this semester anyways um with making a what to pack video because that is what i'm about to do it i leave in two days it's monday i leave on wednesday so i'm about to start packing passed all my finals i'm in good standing um, I'm in the foundation program, so I just have to take the exit exam, which I'm sure I'll pass. So right now it's looking like I will be starting vet school in January. Um, but so when I originally moved down here, my dad and my stepmom moved me in. And so, um, yeah, look at Toulouse always in the stuff. Um, so that was three of us that we each could have two check bags, um, two carry-ons. I was able to bring a lot of stuff down, but to you who like might be traveling alone, um, you know, might just be coming with one parent, you know, I'ma just tell you some things that like I found out I didn't need or you know, it's like not as dire and some things like you might wanna bring down, you know, just to be sure and everything. Okay, so first things first, will you be bringing suitcases or will you be buying a barrel to ship down? So one option that people do is they ship a barrel. Um, a Mary Jet is a common cargo airline. Um, and basically I haven't done this, but I've seen them everywhere. A friend of mine has done it. You buy this gigantic barrel. They give it to you, you take it home, you pack it and then you pay for it. Um, and then they ship it down here. Only thing with that is you'll have to get to the port where it comes in. Um, well, if it's coming on a Marijet, which is an airline, you pick it up from the airport. If it's coming on a cargo air, like a cart, like a ship cargo, you'd have to go kind of towards in town and pick it up. Anyways, not so sure on that, but you know, someone could correct me, but I'm almost sure that's how you have to do it. Um, but if you plan on packing things in your suitcases to bring on your airlines, this is what I recommend. One thing you definitely want to bring is if you have any specific hair product, to girls or maybe even guys if you have a specific hair product um you should bring that down like probably to get you through the semester and don't i mean iga and the grocery stores and everything down here they carry stuff it's just going to be higher than in the u.s like for example i use cantu on my hair which i know some people are so against cantu but they sell cantu in the grocery store that i go to all the time but do they have all my products no they don't and is it higher yes it is um i brought everything that i use on my hair i even found a bucket <laughs> of eco styler gel now this when my mom came to visit me for family weekend she brought that down because also you got to be mindful with your um hey hey i was i was saying just be mindful you know you have a 50 pound limit on your um luggage so you need to be mindful of that because um they will stop you in the airport and they will not let you get on until you get your bag down to 50. So that's another thing. Also, if you use a specific shampoo, this is things I was told to bring down. And so walking in my bathroom, I use Aussie and I use Head and Shoulders, which I actually bought this down here. Um, Pantene, all of these brands they have down here. But if you're one of those really stickier people, you know, like you want a certain thing, you should definitely bring it and bring enough to last you the whole semester. For example, I have very sensitive skin. So I use Nivea. This is the only lotion I use. Um, so this is my shower supply. This is actually a new bottle because I finished the other one up. And um, I brought their specific lotion. Again, I'm pretty sure you can buy this lotion here, but it's gonna be high. So if you're like, you know, particular about that type of stuff, bring in, I mean, I brought enough deodorant and everything. Yes, I use men's deodorant. I really love degree. Um, bring that but um deodorant they sell at the store obviously um i brought a lot of things down like i brought everything like down the feminine products down to my soap again sensitive skin um i use dial specifically dial gold you can't see it in this but i brought like a 24 pack of soap mm, 12 pack of soap um so again if you have like sensitive skin or anything like that bring what you need because it is not 100% sure that they will have it. And I mean, they sell Dove, they sell Ivory, they sell the big soap brands, but I, you can find Dial on the island because I've seen it, but you know, it's just easier just, you know, bring what you need. Um, Another thing I will say, I brought 
Okay, back home, let me tell you, I got sick all the time. Summer, winter, it didn't matter. Like, someone who was sick just looked at me and I got sick. So let me tell you how I brought a whole thing of medicine down here. You don't have to do that. They sell medicine in the store and medicine is not that high, but I know what works for me. And again, kind of probably being over the top because I had so much room. So I wouldn't say you need to bring medicine or anything unless you're on a certain type of prescription which my doctor told me certain prescriptions can only be filled a certain amount, but if you're showing that you're gonna be internationally gone, some doctors and pharmacies will work around that. Some will like automatically ship it down and then some people get their prescriptions filled here. So if you are on prescription meds, you can say that. I'm not really on any prescription meds deal with that um, or you could get someone to send it back home but again like you know how the mail is kind of kind of slow here um, if it's coming from the states it could take anywhere from like 10 days to like two and a half weeks so just be mindful of that if you're bringing medications down I've kind of already made a video about pet stuff but if you haven't seen it pet supplies are kind of expensive so Toulouse has a very sensitive stomach don't you don't you have a sensitive stomach okay we're not gonna talk about it um he has a very sensitive stomach so obviously you're not going to be able to get your royal cane in and your big brands down here i do believe the vet school sells heels if you're going to be in the vet school but i'm not in the vet school as of yet so one food that we found is actually not even an expensive brand but it's perina um one sensitive systems and it works fine for him so for a cat obviously it was a little bit easier but i just brought him a big bag down so this is a this is a 16 pound bag of food and I mean we're not even done with it. I mean we're near the bottom. We're not even done with it. So I will say if you're bringing a pet, try again. This might be like the cargo brand. Like even if you bring your stuff in a suitcase, a good idea might be to ship your pet food on a cargo brand and ship it like a semester's worth of food, especially if your animal's on prescription food, especially if you don't want to use like, you know, certain brands. Some people are against pedigree and like, you know, stuff. The grocery store, I think, sells like pedigree, um, cat chow, dog chow. I did see items the other day for dogs. They sell like Alpo can dog food. They sell um, fancy fees, friskies, um, and nine lives for cats, but it's not in like the cases you might be able to find like a four pack and it's higher. Like dog and cat food is expensive. Bring their toys, bring their treats. I have Toulouse's treats here. I have Toulouse's heartworm and flea medication. He's on revolution. His nail trimmers. I mean, I have toys all around the house, his bed. So bring all of that for your pets. I will say if you're bringing a pet down here. So obviously you're gonna bring your clothes down, which I'm currently in the process of doing two loads of laundry. But um, these are all my clothes, some of my clothes. Um, shoes down on the ground. You don't, I mean, bring short sleeve stuff. It's hot. But if you're gonna be at the school, I will say like, you know, <clears throat> it gets cold in every classroom, every study center, and I'm hot natured, so I can be fine in this t-shirt and shorts and I'm good to go. But some people, I mean, you see people with hoodies, you see people walking around in jeans, I mean, Bring your, you know, long sleeve shirts, bring a hoodie, bring a sweater, bring your jeans. Like, um, it rains here. Some people wear rain boots, but by the same token, it rains so suddenly and then goes away that it's just like, you know, might do you good, but then it's like, it might rain for 20 minutes when you're leaving the house and then the sunshine the rest of the day and now you're walking around with rain boots on. Um, some people do have ponchos, definitely bring an umbrella. Um, let's see. That's about clothes wise. I mean, bring shoes, bring hike. I mean, people like the hike, so maybe a good walking, hiking shoe, um, flip flops for the beach, you know, running shoes. People run, there's a gym. I mean, what you normally would wear. So, living off campus, um, I brought towels, um, brought two towel sets, hair towel, all that jazz. Um, I'm trying to think compared to on campus. I mean, on campus, you'll need towels too. You'll need a comforter. So the beds on campus are twin size. Um, my bed is a full. Um, so if you're moving off campus, you would obviously just need to ask your landlord. I did have to bring pillows. Now my, my landlords, they supplied me with stuff. Maybe that's just me. I wanted my own stuff. So I brought sheets, I brought a comforter. Now it is hot here, you know, so you don't need like a super thick comforter. This is really, really thin. I don't know if you can tell, but it's thin and it's like it said like a quilt or something like that so that's that um 
I mean, I did bring an extra blanket for when I nap because I'm just really particular. Like, if it's the middle of the day, I'm not going to get in my bed. But that's me. Um, I brought a beach towel, all that stuff. Um, oh, okay. Another thing, what I was told is to bring your own notebooks and everything. So, once you know your class schedule and everything for that semester, bring the notebooks down here. I mean, okay. Nowadays, people use their computer and tablet and iPad and all that jazz for everything. I still like to write notes. If you like to write notes, buy your tablets and notebooks at home. And I mean, maybe you're one of those people that have like one giant one, but they have them here. Another thing that's gonna be higher. Another thing that St. George's really emphasizes is whiteboarding. So I brought a whiteboard down here. As you can see, it's kind of small if you compare it to the size of my head. But some people have like really nice ones. And I mean, sometimes they're not huge, but they're just, you know, a little bigger. You see everyone walking around on campus. So if you can find you a nice whiteboard and, you know, pack that in your bag, that's great. Um, they do sell them. That's one that I got from the bookstore. They sell markers, Expo, the fat ones and the skinny ones at the bookstore. So definitely bring that. Um, pens and pencils you'll be able to find, but I mean, I threw a pack in my bag. Um, let's see, on to the kitchen. So this is like, I guess like part two of a tour of my apartment. So. Moving off campus and also on campus, like the rooms will come with like a little kitchenette place. So you'll need to bring like your own little cup and plate. So most of my friends on campus just brought a few things. I didn't know what came with my apartment. So I brought kind of a lot of stuff. I brought like cups, plates and bowls. I do a lot as you can see, cause I live alone. Um, but then I come to find out my apartment came with stuff. So it came with like that, came with all that stuff up there, came with all this stuff under here. But I had brought my own stuff. So I bought like my own pots and pans, my cutting board. I brought a crock pot that I blew in the socket, you know, um, pasta drainer, skillet. I have some Tupperware and bowls over here drying. So you will need your own like Tupperware and stuff like that. You know, forks, knives, spoons. I like to bake cookies, you know, make all that. So all that type of stuff, you know, I like again this is stuff that you can buy here i bought all those spices but again i had a lot of space you don't need to bring that they have it at a grocery store and i'm pretty sure i cook more than the average college student so um if you're moving off campus definitely check with your landlord or the person your roommates you might be moving into because a lot of times these places come with stuff if you're moving into a complex sometimes they come you know with Stuff. And so that is a lot of extra things you don't need to buy. Also, there are constantly students and sometimes even like locals on the buy and sell pages that are selling plates and utensils and pots and pans and stuff like that, cups. So you don't, I mean, pretty much everything that you need, like you can always buy. I mean, people sell things down here from towels to clothes to comforters to yoga mats. I mean, everything. But again, like if you don't know, it's always best to like bring it. I mean, some people will tell you moving here, you just gotta be a minimalist. And I see it. I mean, there's some things that I don't have. Like I brought my crock pot down here. And again, it was because I had the extra space, but people are constantly still in crock pots. And I blew mine because I didn't realize that's another thing. Um, the sockets here are 240 volts. US is 120, so unless you have a transformer or unless you have something, a device that is dual, it's gonna blow. And I didn't know my crock pot wasn't, and I blew my crock pot. Um, but like I was saying, like you can pretty much find everything down here, and you can just be a minimalist. Like you're not gonna have everything you had back home. But I mean, obviously some stuff you just gotta bring. Again, if you're shipping like a barrel or something, or even like if you feel like, you know, you didn't pack that much stuff and now you have extra space, Bring snacks because again, like, yes, they have the mainstream snacks at the store, but I don't know, you might like your vegan cookie or your gluten-free cracker, or I don't know, your random chocolate muffin. And like that kind of stuff, like if it's something very specific, which I've mentioned on the grocery store video, even though obviously you cannot pack a semester's worth, you can pack a few to get you started. Um, so when my mom came, she brought me like cheeses. She brought me my favorite cereal. She brought me just different stuff that like little things I can't find, but then come to find out like some stuff I figured out they had here. So, you know, it just kind of depends. But like if you're shipping a barrel, some people do ship their snacks down here and stuff like that. So, I mean, that is something to consider. So one thing that St. George's does do is they cover your electronics. So 
definitely bring your laptop. Everything is online here, all your test exams. Everything is online. Um, the school does allow you to rent laptops if you need it, if something happens to your computer or something and you need to do the exam, but you will need a laptop. Um, some people have like tablets that you can take your test on and obviously your phone. So St. George will pay customs taxes of up to three devices. So I brought my laptop and my phone. Um, so you'll bring that, bring your book bag. Obviously I have, you know, water bottle, all that jazz. Again, things that they sell here, but you know, bring it if you can. And I mean, more than likely, if you're gonna be moving into a dorm, you won't need that much because you know you're gonna be in a smaller space as opposed to like me moving off campus. I knew there were gonna be things like, you know, I wouldn't have readily available as those on campus. So I just brought a little more. And I mean, you just, you accumulate stuff in the first semester. And then again, there's always people leaving the island. So there's always gonna be people selling stuff that you can buy. So if there's something that you can't pack, don't worry because people are selling. Um, Sales usually do spike towards mid-semester, towards the end, especially the end. So when you first move down here, it might be a little harder to find stuff, but there's a Home Goods, not Home Goods, because that's an actual store in the US. There is a place that I call like the local version of Walmart because it sits next to IGA. So that's the grocery store part. Then you go in here and they sell like all your house goods. And I mean, down to like hardware stuff. You can find like everywhere in there. And so I know the first week when I was here, there were a lot of people in there and they were like, you know, buying stuff. I mean, they sell pillows, they sell plates, they sell doormats, trash cans, everything. If you're moving off campus. So there's always gonna be places to find stuff. And that's just on campus. If you go into town, there's even more stuff. Um, trying to think, trying to make sure I got everything. Um, I can't really think of anything else big, you know, bring headphones for when you're studying on campus, want to do your own thing. Make sure, I'd say if you're bringing like your the Apple phone or anything, bring an extra charger down or anything. Um, people do have iPhones, you do find it here, but there's no Apple store or anything like that. I mean, I brought two chargers down, brought headphones, you know, just make sure all that's up to date. Um, I brought my speaker and everything um, for my personal room and everything obviously in a dorm I don't really know how that would work um, If you have any hobbies, I like to draw I like to journal. I brought all that stuff down here um, I mean obviously because it wasn't new it was a work in progress um, But I'd say like I don't know like if you have my friends brought like their flat iron blow dryer You know that stuff bring down um, razors, that type of th stuff, feminine products, um, shaving cream, washing detergent, um, you know, mouthwash, toothpaste, they sell all that type of stuff. So, I mean, yeah, you might bring what toothpaste pack you're on, um, but you know, that type of stuff, you don't need to stress about. They'll have all that type of stuff at the grocery store. I mean, you don't need to just like buy food on food on food. Don't bring that. Um, again, no heavy clothes or anything like that. Um, um, but other than that, it's kind of just gonna be like hit or miss, like, you know, like how much can you pack? How much are you willing to bring? Are you willing to ship? You know, I just know some people are kind of always wondering like, oh, what should you bring? How much should you bring? Um, I wouldn't say like, I have a whole medicine bin. You don't need to bring that. I have an extra pair of sheets for my bed. Some people, you know, just have one pair and you wash it that day, dry it, put it back on. But since I hang all my stuff to dry, I brought two because just because it might take the whole length of the day to dry. I do that. Um, I brought an iron, I haven't really needed it. So stuff like that, like you don't need. Um, if you're moving off campus, a lot of times like your apartment will come with a fan or you can buy one. So you don't need to like pack a fan like you maybe did like an undergrad back in the States and you brought a fan for your dorm. Um, you might wanna get like a laundry or hamper set to like even if, um, if your laundry facility, if you're off campus, isn't directly in your unit like mine is, or even if you're on campus and you're gonna have to walk back and forth from your room to the laundry facility. Um, so things like that, just like imagine like going to undergrad, but like scaling it down half a notch. I hope this video has like, you know, helped you kind of have an idea, like um, what to do and what to bring. And I mean, don't get me wrong, like someone had to bring some things down here because there are people who sell blenders and bullets and crock pots and carrot machines and I mean, nice stuff. So someone had to get it down here. Um, but just trust me, like you will be able to find, if you can't pack it, don't stress because you will be able to find it down here. Just bring the essentials down here that you need and you can accumulate from there. You can get people to ship you things. Um, and I'd say, you know, that's it. Um, 
one thing I will say that they told me, if you're coming in on a smaller airline that probably stops, I know they say like some stop in like Trinidad or Barbados because students are always coming in around the same time and the flights are smaller, they can only have a certain maximum capacity. So um, just be sure that in whatever your carry-on bag is, you have like maybe a day or two's clothes worth in it, you know, your toothbrush and that kind of stuff, because sometimes your luggage is delayed and it doesn't actually get to Grenada until two or three days after you get here. And that did happen to a few of my friends. I came in on American Airlines, which is, you know, a bigger flight. So I didn't have that problem, but a lot of people do. It's So if that happens to you, don't freak out because it's common, your luggage is coming. But that is something I was told even coming in on American was make sure in your carry-on, if you're bringing your pet, you have enough food for your pet for a day or two. And if for you, you have like, you know, a change of clothes or whatever. Um, so I hope this has been helpful for you. Um, hope any of y'all that might be coming next semester are super excited. Cause I'm super excited because I'm starting vet school next semester and whoop de doo This has been my dream since I was four years old. So yeah, happy holidays to all of my Grenadian um, subscribers and everything. I will be keeping y'all posted as I am in Atlanta, but this is my last video until January actually in Grenada. So subscribe, like, share. Thank you all because one of my videos almost has 2,000 views. I'm over 200 subscribers and that is way more than I was anticipating in one semester. Um, so I'm happy for all the support and I'm happy that I'm able to help so many prospective students coming here. So hope you keep enjoying my videos. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, I'd be Glad to help you and answer that. I don't know why I couldn't get that out. So 